It was an early season showdown in the MAC as the Bronco football team traveled to Northwest Ohio to meet the preseason West Division favorite Toledo Rockets. John Wassing threw for 303 yards and two touchdowns, and Levante Bellamy scored from 39 yards out in the fourth quarter to cut the Bronco deficit to seven. The Western Michigan defense held Toledo to just seven points in the second half, and after a fourth quarter defensive stop by the Broncos, a last minute Western Michigan drive ended at the Toledo four yard line, and the Rockets held on to win 31 to 24. I'm Robin Hook. Coming up, head coach Tim Lester joins me for week six of Bronco Review after this timeout. Bronco Review is presented by Greenleaf Trust, financial security from generation to generation. Trust is in their name for a reason. They've earned it. And by Shupan, they know metal and plastic inside and out, creating a better environment through recycling. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. Little Caesars Hot and Ready Quattro Pizza is not one, not two, not three, but four tasty pizzas in one. You get a large pizza with two slices each of pepperoni, cheese, Italian sausage, and pepperoni, plus Italian sausage and bruschetta, all topped with a sprinkle of garlic and herb seasoning. Try Little Caesars Hot and Ready Quattro Pizza for just $7 tonight. Try our convenient app and pizza portal pickup. Pizza, pizza. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Subaru. We're inside the all-new seven-passenger ascent from Subaru, which has the same DNA as the entire lineup of Subarus. You get the great fuel economy with the beauty of all-wheel drive to get you through that lake effect snow, the low center of gravity from the Boxer engine, along with the best crash avoidance system on the market today called EyeSight from Subaru. Come on out to Maple Hill Subaru and drive these amazing vehicles. Maple Hill Subaru, for a journey like no other. When leading edge medical care is what you need, will you be able to find it? When you find the perfect doctor for you, will you be able to choose her? Can one company give you the expertise, the technology, the choices, the peace of mind that your coverage is gonna work the way you want it? Count on it. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Confidence comes with every card. In 1916, Warren Miller chose Auto Owners Insurance. Later, his son made the same choice, as did his grandson. And today, his great-granddaughter did the same. As we reflect on where we've been, we're grateful to our independent agents and to those who put their trust in us, and to the generations who will. Auto Owners Insurance. Nulty Insurance is your local independent auto owners insurance agency. John back to throw, goes over the middle, caught, touchdown, Western Michigan, Gio Ricci in the back of the end zone, and the Broncos are on the board with a six-yard touchdown pass to Gio Ricci, and for Ricci, his sixth touchdown of the season. Gio Ricci in the back of the end zone puts Western Michigan on the board, trailing 14-7 in the first half, and Coach, once again, the Broncos got off to a slow start, but you come roaring back and fall inches short. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, it was a slow start for us, and and uh, three and out offensively in the first drive, they score on their first two to go down fourteen nothing quickly, and uh, it's happened three times on the road at home. We're we're fast starters, uh, and it's it's ironic that way. But uh, you know, you get in a hole and you got to fight back, and we we found a way to fight back. All right, let's go to the Glass Bowl in Toledo. It was homecoming for the Rockets and their fans and alums. And great day for football, a little brisk it was perfect. weather. It was perfect. <laughs> it was about as beautiful of a day as you could have. The, the, the wind wasn't bad. It was sunny, about 65 degrees. And, uh, you know, it was a beautiful day. Obviously, it was their homecoming. crowd was great. And uh, we traveled a, a good crowd, too. So it was, uh, it was a fun day. Broncos won the toss, deferred to the second half. We did, and uh, it didn't work out, obviously. Uh, you know, I thought our special teams overall played well. We had a couple 
uh, a punt that we didn't kick put in the right place, but I thought uh, they gave us pretty good field position and uh, they went to work on us quickly and uh, great tackle in the open field right there. And uh, you know, they, they jump off 14 nothing. There it is. Now we got we got to answer. Yeah, they scored twice. They got you stopped in your first possession and uh, scored again. So it's 14 to nothing. Now the Broncos going to work here on offense with John Wasink and. It's uh, Sky Moore who had a career day. Yeah, he did. This is, I mean, they played man coverage. This is a big, uh, a very big drive for us. You know, they score, we go three and out, they score. And uh, for John to use his feet and move the ball down the field, make it a 14-7 game, really got us back into this game to make it, uh, you know, they pulled away again the second quarter, but it brought us back into the game. Great back shoulder throw, and Sky made the adjustment there. Sky's a great athlete. Uh, he can play a lot of positions, and, uh, you know, he's, he's playing wider. He's going to continue to get better and better. It was a great patient run by Bellamy, and then uh, finally set up a, a touchdown to Gio in the back of the end zone. Gio's no secret, and they really tried to bracket him all day. Yeah, they had a safety down on top of them, and uh, we got the safety out of there on that one with a, with a crazy formation, crazy motion to get that one-on-one uh, -on -one matchup, and he's, he's tough to cover in one-on-one. -on -one. All right, it's a, it's a ball game now, 14-7. Yeah, it was kind of like hit the reset button, and, and then, you know, and then unfortunately, we weren't able to really come back to the third quarter, but the second quarter was one of the... Uh, one of the, I think, kind of where our defense started to settle down a little bit. They got a turnover, and, and we started to really move. Yeah, the Broncos lead the MAC in turnovers game. Six interceptions, six fumble recoveries. Yeah, they're doing a great job, and I feel like they're gaining confidence. That offense they face is a really potent offense. It's a top, one of the top rushing offenses in the country, and um, you know, so it's fun to watch them, uh, them gain confidence. All right, so uh, there's some of the fans at the game, some there's Bronco fans, and some Lester boys. Yeah. <laughs> They're there. I just I was like, wait a minute, that's, that's my son, you know? So the Broncos and uh, Toledo go to the second quarter, and the Rockets would end up leading 24-7 at the half as uh, he gave up another score and a field goal. Yeah, and the biggest thing is offensively. I mean, I felt like, we, you know, we were taking shots down the field right here, and, and we, we could not find pay dirt and, and that's that's the challenge of being one on one is you got to be able to take your shots over the top I think they hit two or three and they hid the returner on us on this one I don't know if you saw that remember the old bears where they hit they, they hide a returner on the yeah. sideline and they did and I gotta tell you Will McCabe make an open, made an open field tackle they only had a 26 yard return that could have been a 90 yard should have been a 90 yard return and Will McCabe did an unbelievable job all right Brock goes back to work on offense and uh Vontae Bellamy with a catch there as you uh, tried to get him going on a wheel route. Yeah, one-on-ones, you know, we knew they were playing man, so we were trying to find ways. Mixon, I thought, had a really good game. He's one of our seniors and, uh, you know, just try to continue to find ways. And there's Trey making more, <laughs> Trey's making more tackles. He's all over the place. Trey Hayward, seventh in the nation in tackles. He leads the MAC in tackles, coach, with 67. Yeah, I mean, he's so fast and, and uh, you know, it's such, such great tackling for him. His head's always up, you know, he's, ne he's never dips his head. and. Here's Gio with another reception, so it was uh, it was kind of back and forth. And offensively, I don't think we played four seven points and a half is not enough, and uh, we need to play better. And, and our defense, I thought, was getting stronger as the game went on, and, and I think we didn't wake up to the, to the second half. Alex Grace and Kenai Lovely combining on a tackle there, and they have to kick the field goal. That was big, keeping them out of the end zone, making them kick three instead of seven. Yeah, and it was, uh, you know, this is a big drive. You know, I thought uh, if we could have came over with points at the end of the half, it would have been big. And, and uh, you know, unfortunately, we missed the field goal. Ball was kicked a little low. Uh, we really didn't give up any penetration on it. There's a big catch by Bustle on a third down to get us into plus territory. And, uh, you know, took a couple shots at the end zone here. I thought this was... I don't know if he really pushed him there or not. And unfortunately, we didn't finish the catch anyway, but I don't know if that, how egregious of an offensive pass interference that was. You have some young wide receivers in there learning on the job with uh, Jalen Hall, just a sophomore. He's uh, the elder statesman of <laughs> yeah. the group. Yeah, the, uh, our outside receivers are true freshmen, redshirt freshmen, and redshirt sophomore. And those are the kind of, and the other, and another true freshman. So those guys are going to be talented, and it's, it'll be fun to watch them grow. All right, the Broncos are down 24-7 at halftime. They come roaring back thanks to the play of their defense. We'll look at the third and fourth quarters next on Bronco Review. Are you considering home improvements? You should consider BlackBerry. BlackBerry has completed several home improvement projects in our neighborhood, so when we were ready for 20 new replacement windows, we called BlackBerry. They completed the project on time, and their workmanship was outstanding. 
Our friends are amazed and we love the transformation of our home both inside and out with our new windows from Blackberry Home Improvement Specialists. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu blue and silver. I'm a fan of the purple and gold. Weston's brown and gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal. And that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Watch now! Galesburg Ford. Watch you for your next car. All athletes strive to perform at their peak. And meeting that goal means putting in extra hours on the trail, in the gym, or on the court. It also means refueling after a tough workout. Chocolate milk has carbohydrates and protein to rebuild muscles, plus electrolytes to replenish your body. And with no additives, chocolate milk is nature's sports drink. So after your next training session, reach for the natural choice to help you meet your performance goals. Chocolate milk, the unofficial recovery beverage of athletes everywhere. The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial, bank here, grow here. Dear Dr. Johnson, I'm writing this letter to thank you for believing in a shy, quiet high school graduate and showing me the importance of believing in myself. You inspired me to pursue an internship in Seattle, a huge step that I never would have considered when I first arrived. Through countless meetings over four years, my world has grown bigger and ambitions bolder. From teaching kids to changing the face of education. Unforgettable bonds, unbreakable spirit, Western Michigan University. Give it to Bellamy, running to his right. Bellamy picks up a block. He's going to take it to the house. 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Western Michigan. Bell's got it in the open that time and put it in the next gear. Nobody would catch him on the right. And the Broncos pulled it within a touchdown here. The eighth rushing touchdown for Levante Bellamy. And coach, that got you right back in it in the fourth quarter at Toledo. Yeah, we, we woke up in the second half. Offensively, defensively, it was lights out in the second half. And, uh, you know, we fought back in the game, made it a game. All right, you get the football to start the third quarter, which you like to do. You like to start on defense if you win the toss. No doubt. And, and uh, you know, I always feel like the second half, after you make adjustments and get a feel for what they're doing, I, I think I would like to have the ball more in the second half. And uh, and you can see we, we changed some of our calls. We, we really crossed out some of our calls. And, and really, I thought we woke up in the second half. We got a run game going, uh, got a couple different pass concepts going. Uh, instead of throwing it down the field, some pick, some rubs, and uh, and I think it, it really made us more more efficient on offense. Ali fired on a tackle of Bryant Kobach, who's a really excellent running back. Yeah, they're I mean they're top five in the country running the ball. You know we knew that there's Trey again. He's all over the place, and I thought our D line played well, and, and they just kept putting us in position to get back in the game, and, and we and we had plenty of opportunities on offense, and we finally capitalized on some of them in here there in the second half. Here you connect on the boundary to Sky Moore, who had uh, over 100 yards in receptions. Yeah, and you think about Sky is that he didn't really even have a big one, big big one. You know, and a lot of times when you go over 100, you have a 50-yard completion. But he he earned each one of those catches, and he had a guy draped all over him. And we had one big play there with Jalen Hall on a third and 14, and the uh, play that we had designed for that coverage. It worked out really well. And, and now we're getting we're getting closer. It's going to be a ball game. Yeah, you called that play on the sideline there just before it happened, huh? Yes, I saw it the moment I saw the coverage. Uh, I we put it in on Thursday, and it was just a little adjustment to one of the plays we already had in. But uh, you know, it was great to see it work, and, and I think the guys have a lot of confidence in how we're attacking coverages. All right, so you kick off, and uh, you're getting right back into this. And your defense coach held them to 134 yards in the second half. This is a Toledo team that's just under the Broncos in total offense for the season and uh, pretty much shut them down in the second half. They did. I mean, the way they played, I mean, it was special. And we had a block punt. There's KG. I mean, another defensive guy making plays. And so it was so much fun to watch them play at a high level against a really good football team. And, and that's what we're going to need. That, that was an unbelievable throw and catch by Jalen and John. But, um, you know, they, I think we got we kind of sparked momentum off them, which is we haven't been a team that's done that. 
it's a team that I want to be. I want to be a defensive uh, dominating team. Uh, but uh, it was fun to, as they continued to stop them, we started gaining more and more uh, energy on offense. You got that block punt and weren't able to get any points. I thought that was really a key moment in the game. Huge, huge. We missed a couple throws on that. We had two or three guys open, and uh, you know, John John took one or two hits, and I, you know, unfortunately, we missed the next three plays. I think his next three throws, he was just a tad off. He got him to the sideline, calmed him down, and, and uh, went back to work. All right, here's your punt returner and kick returner, one of the best in the country, and Keith Mixon. He's fun to watch, and, and as you've seen, he's, got, he's more and more involved in uh, the offense now. He's starting to get more and more comfortable with what we're doing, and uh, another big drive after the big return here that we had a chance to get, you know, we ended up kicking a field goal, but we gotta, we got to turn these into touchdowns, and, uh, you know, Mixon obviously getting involved. He's a, he's a tough one-on-one -on -one matchup, and, uh, you know, it's frustrating to have to get a field goal. It was a great kick. You know, it's been a good from a long way, but you know we got to turn those into touchdowns. There's Cooper and Camden right there. Yeah, and Tiago puts it through. He's showing a lot of confidence in that guy. He's got a big time leg. He does. Just more. He's just got to stay calm. The more he's out there, the calmer he is. You know, and uh, the leg's not the problem. It's just mentally. And and um, first one he kicked a little bit low. Second one he he, he nailed it. So I, I just can't wait for him to continue to gain confidence. All right, here we go. The fourth quarter, and your defense continues to just uh, dominate. Toledo's offense, they can't move the football. Trey Hayward, seventh in the nation in tackles, leads the Mac. Yep, they got energy right there. I mean, this this is who we are, this is who we need to be uh, for these the second half of the season, you know, and uh, and man, it, it, it can change the dynamic of, of your program. They were able to get that one touchdown uh, early in the fourth quarter. That was all they managed in the second half, and you guys chip away, chip away, and have a chance to take it down the field and tie or maybe win the game with a two-point play. Yeah, we uh, we scored to make it. I mean, by that time, the, the defense had given the offense some momentum, and we had scored to cut it to seven. They scored to make it 14. Then here comes Bells uh, to cut it to seven again, and, and then they stopped them, and, and we, had our, we had our drive. And that's all you can ask for. You're playing a team that's really good on the road at homecoming. Give us the ball, drive and give us a shot. And, uh, and we're in it, and uh, we didn't finish it, but I was proud of the fight to get back in it. Just keep giving it to Bellamy, and they're going to stop him once in a while. But eventually, he's going to get loose, and nobody's going to catch him. That was a big does. one. Yeah, I thought they. I think they thought they had an angle on him, and and he 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 wrapped it up and got onto the edge and was done. There's, <laughs> look at him, Andre Carter. He's got some energy. He's a young kid. <laughs> I Richard, love it. Redshirt freshman got a ton of energy. He was all over. He had his best game. Him and uh, you know we we rotate so many players through the defense that it's going to be fun. Uh, you know, as these kids grow up. Sacks and turnovers, man, there's nothing better than that on defense. No, and, and we're, getting, we're getting more and more comfortable with, uh, with what we're doing on defense, and, and I can't wait to watch them continue to grow. Patrick Lupro making a play there, and uh, this one came back. He threw the pick, and uh, there was a penalty. There was. Uh, that, that was a check by John. John called that at the line of scrimmage by himself, and the guy that he called it to got grabbed. I'm glad the officials saw it because it was a great check, and, uh, and now we're going, we're going to work. You know, trying to move the ball down the field. All right, another deep shot. Oh, and he just got a hand on that one. That's Sammy Womack from the Detroit area. He played a good game. He in the did. Corner. He played really well, and, and we weren't able to, to really make him make him pay for playing man-to-man -man coverage. And you know, this is the final play. John decides to take off and makes it to the whatever the four. Um, you know, I I don't think he can jump over all all of those. I wish he would just toss it up, but. You know, we needed a stop here. We would have had about 40 seconds left if we got a stop, but uh, they got the first down. We were able to run the clock out. So the Rockets hold on and win their MAC opener 31-24. to But a lot of football left. This thing is far from over. We'll be back with more Bronco Review after this timeout. Trust Dunchy Body and Frame for all your collision repair work, but they offer so much more like paintless dent repair, brakes and wheel alignment, and perfect paint matching. Dunchy Body and Frame also works with all insurance companies to make sure your vehicle is restored to pre-accident condition. So for personal service and high-quality workmanship, call Dunchy Body and Frame in Kalamazoo at 375-2100, in Vicksburg at 649-8100, or visit their website, dunchybody.com. Dunchy Body and Frame, part of your community since 1973. Hi, I'm Jim Vandenberg with Maple Hill Volkswagen. This is the Volkswagen Tiguan. It comes in both five and seven passenger models, and now it's joined by its big brother, the Atlas, which comes in a seven passenger and eight passenger model, completing the SUV lineup. All Volkswagens are backed by a six year, 72,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty. 
best in the business. These are German engineered, value priced, with the longest warranty in the industry. Maple Hill Volkswagen for a journey like no other. At Arbor, we're a cooperative financial institution who has been proudly growing across the mitten. Our purpose is to help members achieve their dreams through innovative financial solutions. I am Arbor. I am Arbor. I am Arbor Financial Credit Union. And I am here to serve you. And I am here to serve you. Hi, we are the Quattro Brothers. People assume we're exactly the same, but we're not. We like different kinds of pizza. I like cheese. I like pepperoni. I like sausage and pepperoni. I like sausage and bruschetta. Here's your Quattro pizza. We also have different shoe sizes. It's four tasty pizzas in one. Get a large Little Caesars Quattro for just seven bucks. Pizza, 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 pizza. More devices, more apps, more streaming. Today, we need more speed than ever to stay connected. So we're making the best in-home Wi-Fi experience even better. We're giving our customers faster speeds and including them in our most popular plans at no additional cost. We've increased our speeds 17 times in 17 years. So you can keep streaming, sharing, and connecting like never before. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Mixon will field it at the goal line. He's coming out to the 10, Mixon to the 20. Makes it to the 30, cuts it back inside. Russell down at the 46 yard line. Great return, 46 yards. Keith Mixon Jr. right up the numbers on the right. Big return by Keith Mixon. We've said that a lot this year. 45 yard kick return. That set up a big touchdown for you in the second half. He's going to break one eventually. I mean, he is, he's, he's given us great field position all year, but. Uh, but man, he has been so close to, to, to hitting pay dirt one time, and uh, he'll get one before the end of the year. Broncos uh, have a new special teams coach, and it's showing in the special teams, Tim. Broncos are at or near the top of all the key special team stats. Yeah, you know, Coach Palsik's done a great job coming in here from Miami of Ohio last year is where he was. So uh, they were number one in the league, Miami of Ohio was. Now we're, I don't know where we are. We're in top, top one, two, or three, and everything. And I love his scheme. The kids love his scheme. Um, you know, I think our, our punt game, which is the most important one, has been way more solid. And our return game is back to being a lot of fun every time somebody touches the ball because they're giving them some space. Well, Keith Mixon is a big part of that in the kick returns. You lead the MAC in kickoff returns. He's number one in the MAC in kick returns. But it's not just him. It's everybody involved in the special teams. I mean, there's, those are the hardest blocks there are. I mean, you have to block a guy in space. So it's space blocks are hard. It's easy when you have bodies on either side of you. Congestion is your friend. Uh, but those are, those are tough blocks. And the way he teaches it and the guys we have, we, we've done a great job. Of, we have a lot of good athletes. And uh, it's hard to make those open field blocks. But when you know you have Mixon behind you, you have a tendency to make sure you get on your block because you know he can take it to the house. Field position is one of the most important uh, parts of a football game, and the Broncos special teams are giving them great field position on offense and defense. We'll be back and look ahead to this week's opponent, Miami. Now time out on Bronco Review. What do you do when you discover something great? Well, you tell your friends and family about it, right? Well, that's exactly how Lake Michigan Credit Union became the largest credit union in Michigan. With one of the highest checking account rates in the nation, and guarantee low mortgage rates, word is spreading fast about Lake Michigan Credit Union. Earn more when you save, pay less when you borrow. Lake Michigan Credit Union, the best place for your money. When you need home improvements, you should call BlackBerry. Do you need a new roof? Give us a call. We're one of the area's most trusted and professional roofing contractors, having completed thousands of roofing jobs throughout West Michigan. Right now, you can save 50% off the installation of our new roofing, featuring the Owens Corning Duration Shingle that comes with a limited lifetime warranty for installation and materials. Call today or go to blackberrysystems.com. No matter what pops up during your day, Ascension Borges makes it easy to get the care you need, anytime, from anywhere. Now you can see a doctor online right from home 24 7. Check in online for urgent, 
an ER care, or even schedule a visit with a primary care doctor. You'll find it all at GetAscensionMichiganCare.com with locations across West Michigan. At Galesburg Ford, we stand behind our football teams. I like the Honolulu Blue and Silver. I'm a fan of the Purple and Gold. Weston's Brown and Gold, all the way. We may cheer for different teams, but our team here at Galesburg Ford has one goal, and that's great customer satisfaction as we find you a new car, truck, or SUV. So whether it's a brand new Ford, or a certified used vehicle, score your next car at Galesburg Ford. Touchdown! Galesburg Ford! Let's you for your next car! The numbers don't lie. At Arbor Financial Credit Union, our numbers work for you. Numbers like zero, the amount you'll pay in checking fees and at Arbor or co-op ATMs. Then there's $200, the average savings on mortgage closing costs when our members use their credit union. You should probably know about five, the percentage lower your credit card rate could be compared to a bank. Take advantage of all our numbers. Not a member? Start saving today. Arbor Financial. Bank here. Grow here. He's got the snap. Three-man rush. Steps up. Goes deep. He's got a man wide open. Touchdown, Western Michigan. Jalen Hall into the end zone for the touchdown. Another touchdown for Macomb, Michigan native Jalen Hall. and He's really coming on, Coach. He put out some weight in the off season and uh, he's looking the part now yeah he's getting there i mean I, he's got a long way to go uh but he's he's our oldest guy we have in the room and he's and he's playing like he's 180 pounds now i think he can hold 190 200 when he gets to that he could be unstoppable but uh he's you know he's doing a great job leading that room all right broncos play miami it's homecoming a big weekend planned and uh, the alums coming back you're an alum coaching mm -hmm. your team it's a big game against Miami to try to get back on track. Here yeah, with six to go. They're one and zero in the league. I mean, that's all. It doesn't matter who you played. They played Ohio State, Iowa, Cincinnati, really good teams. So they're one and zero, and so they're they're leading the East right now, and they're they're coming in here to keep keep their edge that they have over there. So uh, we had a shootout with them last year. Uh, I'm sure they'll be ready to go, and it'll be fun to see all the alum back. It was forty to thirty nine at their place a year ago. Broncos won it, and. Should be a fun game and a noon kickoff. Coach, good luck against the Red Hawks. I appreciate it. And we'll be back next week with all the highlights of the Western Michigan-Miami game. Noon kickoff at Waldo Stadium this Saturday on Homecoming. For Coach Lester and our staff, I'm Robin Hook. Thanks for watching. See you next week on Bronco Review.